In today's video about PowerShell, it's all about get help and get alias. We will look at how PowerShell takes what you see as old commands like DIR and actually makes them work like modern commands in the sense of things like get dash child item. We'll also check out the PowerShell help system and how you can actually access resources to be able to assist you with working with PowerShell commandlets that you don't know or for finding new PowerShell commandlets that are going to be really useful to you. So let's get straight on with the demo and work on with PowerShell help and PowerShell aliases. Continuing on with our theme of PowerShell, I want to include another section here with two commands that are very, very important for us to use. These commands are going to be alias and help. So let's create a new PS1 file here to talk about these. The first command is get dash alias. Oh, get dash. Nope. <laughs> the first command. The first command is get dash alias. Now get dash alias is going to show us all of the aliases that we have inside our PowerShell environment. So what is an alias? Well, for example, if we chose an original command prompt over here, we could run this command dir and that will retrieve all the directories that are within this directory. That's great. We could also do that over here. So if I drop back a directory, if I do dir, I will get the same result. The thing is though, dir is actually an executable that's stored inside system 32. It's not a PowerShell command. It's actually aliased to the command of get dash child item. We can actually see that by using this get alias command here. So if we do get alias and do name dir, if I run that code now, look at the result. This alias is actually pointing dir to get child item. There are a number of aliases. For example, if I just run get dash alias on its own here, press F8 to run that line, you can see that the output, there is a lot of default aliases. Like for example, start is alias to start process and RD is alias to remove item. Some things that you might see in the Linux land, things like H for history is get history. Uh, GMO is get module, GM is get member and so on and so forth. Now we could also create our own aliases in here as well if we wanted to. We could use the new alias command to do that. So if I take a command that looks a little bit like this and paste it in, whoops. So if I take a command that looks like this and paste it in, we have new alias name 11. In fact, we could change that to name Apple if we really wanted to. We could use whatever we actually want as our alias here. And we have the value is get child item and the description is an alias for get child item with the force and recurse, rec uh, an alias for get child item with the force and recurse parameters. So if I run this code now, this will load this into memory and I can now go and run the alias of Apple. And you'll see it does get child item. So aliases are not like variables. Aliases will actually contain commands, but they are shorthanded versions of those commands. So another thing I want to look at is get help. So if we come down here, bring this down a little bit more, what we'll also do is we'll hit control B and control B is going to drop that window out on the left hand side there. If I do control B again, it comes back. And what I want to do is I want to talk about this command, get dash help. So if I get stuck with any of my PowerShell commands, how do I get help for them? Well, this is going to help us. So if I do, for example, get dash help, get dash child item here, and I run just that one line, I'm just pressing F8 on my keyboard, it's going to actually give me the output of that help. Now this help doesn't look amazing to us. For example, it's giving me some syntaxes, some things that I can actually run with this get child item. And it's actually giving me some aliases for it as well. Notice there's my alias of Apple for get child item. I could also run this in a different way. So if I ran, for example, dash full on the end of this, 
this is actually going to give me the proper help for this command. So now this is giving me a lot more detail in here. Let's just switch this over to a vertical window. Whoops. Uh. Can't do that, can I? Nuts. Okay, so let's just run this command, get help, get child item dash full. And if I execute that, I get a full listing of all the help for this get child item. Now, admittedly, looking at it here within the terminal is relatively difficult. So what's a better way of doing this? Well, if you're online, which you will be, just do get help dash whatever command you want. So get help, get child item, get help, um, get alias, uh, get help, get service, whatever it might be. Just put dash online, whack F8. And now what it does is it bounces you immediately into a web browser or your default browser, and then immediately into the full help documentation for that specific bit of code, including a number of examples for how to actually use that thing. So this is not just for get child item, this is for absolutely anything. So if I wanted to do, for example, get dash service, and I wanted to understand how get service works, I can press F8 there to run just that one line, and it's going to bring me up the documentation for get service. Very, very useful thing here. Okay. If we want to find commands that we want to use, there is actually something else. There is something called get dash command. Again, if I run F8 on my keyboard, just to run that one line, it's going to list me out all the commands that are currently available to me in my shell. You really don't want to actually learn all these commands. It's just not possible. There's tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of commands out there for various different services. So I'm going to press Control C on my keyboard to cancel that. And I'm going to clear that information off. What I'm going to do with get command is I can actually search for commands inside here. Say I wanted all the commands to do with services. I can just pop a star in here, just do service, pop another star in, press F8, and I can see all of the commands related to just service. Because stars, remember, are wild cards. So stars are anything of any character in length or an, any character of any length. There are also other wild cards, like for example, question mark would be a wild card. And that could actually mean any character of one character in length. Okay. So if you're searching three question marks, it's anything of three characters in length. For those of you who have experienced this before, the ability to search elements within PowerShell um, is also supported with regex. But that's a little bit beyond the scope of what I want to talk about at the moment. We'll talk about regex in the future. That kind of concludes looking at the two main commands here, get alias and get help. Especially remember get help and dash online to link you directly to the piece of documentation you need for that specific element that you're working with at that time. I hope you'll join me for the next PowerShell video and we'll discuss further topics. And you know the routine, hashtag like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll join me next time. Goodbye.